Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a player review and it's a pretty special one. It is of one of the GOAT, Lionel Messi in FIFA 21 guys. This card hasn't really been spoken about too much and we are going to review him today. Played a bunch of games in Division Rivals with him so we'll do a little intro. We'll get into the post commentary of the highlights we did manage to get with Lionel Messi. You might be wondering... Should I go for Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar? Well, I've used all four of those cards and a few others as well who are at the high end of the scale. And I'll let you guys know who is the best out of the bunch. So if you enjoy this video, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. Let's not waste any more time though. Let's just get into it because this card looks absolutely fantastic. And I think I didn't face Lionel Messi in the weekend league once. And he's under 700,000 coins on both consoles absolutely insane 93 rated card the highest rated gold rare card in the game 85 pace 92 shooting 91 passing 95 dribbling 38 defending 65 physical ridiculous stats just insane five foot seven medium low work rate left footed four star four star i think his medium low work rate is a funny one i think that i used his shape shifters last year the one that put him on high attacking work rates. It was really, really good. This one though, the work rates, it seems to work nice. It does seem to work nice. In-game stats though, some of these are ridiculous. For a, for a gold record, it is ridiculous. These are like icon level stats. 91 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, 93 attack positioning, 95 finishing, 86 shot power, 94 long shots, 88 volleys, 75 penalties. 95 vision, 85 crossing, 94 free kick accuracy, 91 short pass, 91 long pass, 93 curve. The beauty of Messi is that he can be one of the most deadly finishers in the game, but he can be the best passer in the game as well. It's a ridiculous thing to have on the card. 91 agility, 95 balance, 94 reactions, 96 ball control, 96 dribbling, 96 composure. You have to think, if this guy gets a team of the season, all of his dribbling stats will pretty much be at 99. How much of a difference are you going to feel between 96 and 99? It really shows you what a top end card can do on this game, especially dribbling wise. His defending stats we don't really care too, too much about because that is not Lionel Messi, but he has 70 heading accuracy. So you never know, you might score an odd header here and there with him. But his physical stats is where the card is let down. 68 jumping, 72 stamina, 69 strength and 44 aggression. Would have liked to have seen better uh, physical stats, but it probably does reflect how he plays in real life. And I think that that's what we've benefited from in the past couple of years in FIFA. FIFA 20, FIFA 21, they have nailed Lionel Messi's card. It was always Ronaldo this, Ronaldo being the best card in the game. Even if he wasn't the highest rated, Lionel Messi could never perform because the game wasn't really suited to him. Does FIFA 21 suit Lionel Messi? You will find out. Trait wise, finesse shot trait. Outside foot shot trait, one club player trait, no idea what that does. And uh, he has the chip shot trait and the team player trait. A couple of others as well, which I believe are the CPU ones, so we don't really care too, too much about. But the card looks really good, guys. It honestly looks really, really good. We had him in this team with Cristiano Ronaldo, so you will see them playing alongside each other. It'd be beautiful if we could see that in real life. But the way we actually set it out is a 4 4 2 um, with Lionel Messi as the striker. I think Lionel Messi. Plays really well as a striker, plays really well as a cam. We had him in that team. Instructions on the card, false ninth, stay central, and come back on defence. Not really sure why this that come back on defence was, because we are just on a friend's account. But he seems to do really, really well in that position. And I think that if you are playing Messi as a false nine, that is a perfect position for him to pick up the ball, to ping the passes, to get the shots away. That's enough though of the intro, let's get into the highlights, let's see how this Lionel Messi did perform in FIFA 21. And here we go then guys, into the review of Lionel Messi. Wow, 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 wow guys, I was um, pleasantly surprised by this card because I was really shocked that not many people had been using it. You can see here in the background, these were some co-op games that I did play with Lionel Messi and we did also hop on to play some games on my own with the card. And it was a whole lot of fun, it was a whole lot of fun guys, I think the... Lionel Messi was one of my favourite players to use last year. I used his Team of the Year card, the Shapeshifter card, um, the Team of the Group Stage Champions League card. He was so, so good in-game. And I think that 
This year, it just carries on. If you loved Lionel Messi in FIFA 20, you will love him in FIFA 21. It's as easy as that, guys. But there are a bunch of pros, and there are some cons in this card that you may have to consider when forking out nearly 700,000 coins for the card, which although sounds cheap, it's still a lot. You could get a bunch of good players for that card, for that price. You get two for that price, so... We'll have to really consider whether Lionel Messi will have that impact in your team, which makes you think, right, you know what, I need to go and get him. Because this year, it could be a bit harder to get him in a team. I think a lot of people played 4-5-1 last year, got Lionel Messi in with Semedo. I think Semedo obviously transferred to Wolves. So his price for that Barcelona card, can you even buy him? I'm not too sure. That would have been a gem to pick up at the start of the game. But let's get on to the pros for the card and we start off with the acceleration. Acceleration, I did not feel like Lionel Messi suffered with the pace with the acceleration. I felt like he felt quick off the mark. The sprint speed ultimately did let him down in the low 80s, but the acceleration, the initial burst of pace, really was useful, especially when you're playing behind. I think playing players in behind this year in FIFA 21 is so important. If Lionel Messi lacked that acceleration, you probably would feel like he couldn't play as a striker, but I think because you can get him up the field quite quickly, he can play striker really well, and he can play Cam. I think Cam is probably... The best position for him, we almost played him as a cam with the false nine rule applied to him, but you want him picking up the ball from deep. Acceleration just means he can counter as well uh, when he joins your attack. Finishing, 95 finishing on the card. Obviously, it's going to be a joke. It is going to be a joke. There are some times where he does miss and you're like, whoa, is he actually missed that? Like You would think 95 finishing guarantees a goal every time, but I think the one thing I have learned from playing weekend league this weekend is you can have the best players in the game and shots still won't go in because of AI blocks, crazy goalkeeper saves, and just DDA. I don't know, I don't know what other way to put it, it's just random, but I think most of the time if you get him in the position where you feel comfortable, you feel confident that you're in the right position with Lionel Messi, he will do an absolute wonder with the finishing. Really, really a clinical finisher in this game. Left foot, right foot, right foot, we'll talk about the right foot in a moment, but yeah, both feet were fantastic finishing wise. I think that he can score a variety of goals, Finesse shots, obviously he's got the finesse shot trait. Power shot, really, really good. And yeah, just a variety of different shot types. You see there in the background, a nice little volley across, half volley across the goal. Nice little finish, you're never really in doubt. And I've missed ones like that with Neymar this weekend, so you cannot say anyone in this game should finish that chance. Positioning. Positioning and movement is what makes this card absolutely brilliant. I only realised that we had the comeback on defence uh, instruction applied to him when we just looked at it in the intro. It didn't really feel like he came back too much. I felt like he was up the pitch quite a lot. I felt like he was always in really, really good positions. And I think that helps with his stamina, with his work rate. If he's in the right spot at the right time, you don't really have to worry too, too much about the work rates. I think the work rates are almost neglected a little bit because, well, you can push them to a side. You don't really have to worry about them too much because Messi, he's always in the right spot. He's always picking up the ball in dangerous areas, exactly where you want him to be. He'll never be a left back, right back. He'll always be in the right spot. Sometimes he may drop deeper into midfield, and that's a good thing. That is a good thing when you have one of the best passes in the game. Look at this, though. War has just happened to Lionel Messi. He's just took off. He's just nearly been abducted back to space where he came from. But, yeah, that was, that was a crazy glitch, one of the crazier glitches I've seen in FIFA 21. But yeah, speaking of passing in midfield, one of the best passes I've used this year. I've used uh, Kevin De Bruyne, thought his passing was brilliant. His five-star week for his passing was a joke. Lionel Messi, though, he can pull off the crazy passes. Almost the, um, I uh, thread the needle through the, th th you know what I mean. Thread the eye of the needle is what I mean. He, he can play the crazy passes. He can play the ones through to Ronaldo, which you'll see in this video. Ones to Usman Dembele, Bernardo Silva down the wings. He can play the ones down the middle. He can play the ones over the top. Any type of pass, Lionel Messi can play. And you've seen Lionel Messi in real life play some crazy passes. This one is exactly the same. If you see the pass, Lionel Messi will see the passing game and he will not let you down. Dribbling now. Wow, there are a lot of pros for this card. Dribbling, dribbling. Picks up the ball, you can dance past three or four players, just like real life. His dribbling is close control, is an absolute joke. Seeing the background again, it's just creating the space to get the shot away. That was so fun to use. If you can go left, if you can go right, you don't really need the five-star weak foot so much when you can always sort of get it on his left foot. Never really had a problem of getting it on his left foot. And I think the, the dribbling, one of the best I've used in the game. It's different to Neymar. I think Neymar is more flair. The ball probably gets further away from Neymar's feet. Messi, it just sticks to it like glue. Honestly, sticks to his foot like glue. And you see in the background, just, again, 
Messi just creating the plays. It's just beautiful from Messi, just the way that he can, almost like an artist, he creates the plays. He draws out the pitches and he usually does a great job at finishing them off. Nice little finish on his right foot there. Four style, four style. I think you need the skill moves with Messi. He has the dribbling to warrant amazing skill moves on this game. Four style weak foot was a surprise. Honestly, it really felt like a surprise. Messi is heavily, heavily, uh, heavily right, heavily left footed, but he can do a job on his right foot. Again, right footed finish in the background. Right footed passes were great. So I think this year in FIFA 21, some players really don't seem to. Uh, feel like a four star weak foot. I think last year the gap between a five star and a four star weak foot was bigger. This year it seems less, so which is a really, really nice thing to have. Um, the outside the foot shot trade, brilliant, best shot type in the game for a number of years now. And the versatility on the cards, you can play him left wing, right wing, camp, striker. You can play him anywhere across the front line. And look at this clutch goal in the last minute of the game to win me. That was absolutely brilliant. And really set the tone of how this Messi will be looked at, in my opinion. But there are some cons. Stamina, not the best. Low 70s. I think that you will have to manage it in-game. You might get to extra time. You might get to like the 80th minute. He might be knackered. He might be knackered in-game. So that's just one thing to consider. The aggression, the strength, not good. He does get brushed off the ball quite easily. He's only small, so it will be quite difficult for Lionel Messi to be one of the most aggressive players in the game. But... Low center of gravity, amazing dribbling. It's not so bad. I just think that you will see that just like with Neymar and Mbappe, it's not going to be the best when they're on the ball. They will get brushed off. And the sprint speed, guys, the sprint speed ultimately isn't really as good as you would want it to be. But you can see this card has a number of pros. The cons mostly come down to the physical, to be honest, and the sprint speed. But for this card, it is such amazing value if you consider under 700,000 coins on both consoles for a Lionel Messi card in FIFA 21. Seems to me like a real good steal. I give him a 9.6 rating out of 10. I think we probably could budge him up to a 9.7. I'm not too sure. 9.6, 9.7. think he's brilliant. think his team of the season will be brilliant. His team of the year will be brilliant. Special cards will be a joke, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. I'll see you all in the next one.